Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, August 22nd. It's the 13th week after Pentecost, week 7 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 128 and 129, and Judges 18, verse 16 to 31. And join me now in singing verse 5 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. We'll crowd your gaze with thankful songs, high as the heavens our voices raise, and earth with her ten thousand tongues shall fill your courts with sounding praise. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are you that fear God most high, that walk in God's ways. Alleluia. Psalms 128 and 129. Please recite them with me. Alleluia, blessed are you that fear God most high, that walk in God's ways. For you shall eat the labor of your hands, and you shall be happy, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the side of your house, your children like olive plants around your table. Behold, that thus shall they be blessed who fear God most high. God shall bless you out of Zion, and you shall see the goodness of Jerusalem all the days of your life, and you shall see your children's children, and peace upon Israel. Alleluia, many times have they afflicted me from my youth. Let Israel say, many times have they afflicted me from my youth, and yet they have not prevailed against me. The flowers plowed my back, and they made long their furrows. The Most High is righteous. God has cut the cords of the wicked. Let them all be confounded and turned back that hate Zion. Let them be as the grass on the housetops which withers before it grows up, which does not fill the hand of the reaper nor the bosom of them that bind sheaves, so that they which go by do not say the blessing of the Most High be on you. We bless you in the name of God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you that fear God most high, that walk in God's ways. Alleluia. A reading from the Judges, chapter 18, beginning at verse 16. While the six hundred men of the Danites armed with their weapons of war, stood by the entrance of the gate. The five men who had gone to spy out the land proceeded to enter and take the idol of cast metal, the ephod and the teraphim. The priest was standing by the entrance of the gate with the six hundred men armed with weapons of war. When the men went into Micah's house and took the idol of cast metal, the ephod and the teraphim, the priest said to them, What are you doing? They said to him, Keep quiet, put your hand over your mouth, and come with us, and be to us a father and a priest. Is it better for you to be a priest to the house of one person, or to be priest to a tribe and a clan in Israel? And then the priest accepted the offer. He took the ephod, the teraphim, and the idol, and went along with the people. So they resumed their journey, putting the little ones, the livestock, and the goods in front of them. When they were some distance from the home of Micah, the men who were in the houses near Micah's house were called out, and they overtook the Danites. They shouted to the Danites, who turned around and said to Micah, What is the matter that you come with such a company? He replied, You take my gods that I made and the priest, and go away. What have I left? 
How then can you ask me what is the matter? And the Danites said to him, You had better not let your voice be heard among us, or else hot-tempered fellows will attack you, and you will lose your life and the lives of your household. And then the Danites went on their way. When Micah saw that they were too strong for him, he turned and went back to his home. The Danites having taken what Micah had made, and the priest who belonged to him came to Laish, to a people quiet and unsuspecting, put them to the sword and burned down the city. There was no deliverer because it was far from Sidon, and they had no dealings with Aram. It was in the valley that belongs to Beth Rehob. They rebuilt the city and lived in it, and they named the city Dan after their ancestor Dan, who was born to Israel. But the name of the city was formerly Laish. And then the Danites set up the idol for themselves. Jonathan, son of Gershom, son of Moses, and his sons were priests to the tribe of the Danites until the time the land went into captivity. So they maintained as their own Micah's idol that he had made as long as the house of God was at Shiloh. Here enter, ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Release us from the power of sin and death, and heal us of our afflictions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.